features of socialism this features of socialism party carries five marks for this party five marks what are the things you have to write means first one you have to write introduction second you have to write each and every features that is side heading and next one you have to write this side heading you have to write explanation and last one you have to move on to conclusion so three to four lines introduction you have to write regarding socialism or socialist economy side heading each and every side heading you have to write then explain each and every side heading and at last you have to write conclusion this is the pattern you have to follow for five mark question introduction side heading explanation then next move on to conclusion now features of socialism or socialist economy public ownership of means of production central planning maximum social benefit non existence of competition absence of price mechanism equality of income equality of opportunity classless society public ownership means of production means resources owned by government all resources are owned by the government it means all factors of production are nationalized and managed by the public authority central planning all decisions central planning each and every decisions are made only by government people maximum social benefit each and every activities are undertaken by the government means they just keep in mind only the welfare of the people so they just provide maximum benefit to all the people who is residing in the country non existence of competition full control over production activities and consumption activities by the government authorities that is the thing non existence of competition the state has full control over production and distribution of goods and services the consumer will have only limited choice next one absence of price mechanism price fixation in all the goods and services only by the government that is the thing absence of price mechanism means the pricing system works under the control and regulation of central planning authority that is by the government next one equality of income the main important aim of the government in socialist economy a remove of removal of inequalities of income and wealth that is they can reduce the gap that exists between the rich and poor equality of opportunity here the government they can uh, create the equality of opportunity by undertaking of various economic welfare activities through free health education health sanitation each and everything comes under equality of opportunity socialism provides equal opportunity for all through free health education and professional training etc classless society classless society that is no class conflict everyone treated equally by the government that is the thing in a true socialist economy everyone is equal as far as economic status is concerned